My name is Mike Peverell. I'm here at Pev's Paintball Park in Aldi, Virginia. I've been playing paintball for nearly 30 years. I've played professional paintball with numerous pro teams all over the world. This facility here was built from the ground up for paintball, kind of like Paintball Disneyland. Our website is www.pevs.com. Hopefully you can come out and visit us sometime. Connecting a, an air tank to a paintball gun is not a hard thing to do, but most people, they don't really understand what's happening because they hear the air escaping and they feel like something's wrong and, and, and vice versa. So what happens is, is you gotta remember, on a paintball tank, you have these O-rings on the end, and the O-rings are what's gonna make the seal complete. If the O-rings go bad, then the seal's gonna be bad and you're gonna be leaking air. So it's very important that when you, when you, when you put the tank on the gun, you make that complete seal. And I'm gonna show you taking the tank off why it's important to do certain things so you don't blow your O-rings. Because eventually that can be a costly mistake because you're always replacing O-rings. And imagine if you're out somewhere and you're taking your tank off and then you blow the O-ring and you don't have any more O-rings, you're not playing because without the air, you're done for the day. And you may have to drive somewhere to get a new O-ring. So anyhow, so screwing on the tank, it's simple. Line the threads up, make sure they're straight, feel Turn it as you're turning it. Make sure you feel it connect in there because you don't want to strip the threads. So once you feel it going in the right way, take it all the way in. I just heard the gun pressurize. Finish it off. Now it's to the end. Now it's got a complete seal. It's done, ready to go, ready to fire. Now, turning, taking a paintball tank off. What I tell people all the time is remember, don't just unscrew it until it's all done. Unscrew it about a half a turn. Um, and then start firing your gun. As you fire your gun and screw it, there you go. It takes the pressure off the valve, unscrews, and now we're done. Now, what people typically do that you don't want to do is just start unscrewing, and then you'll hear an air blast. What happens is there's air trapped in the gun. If there's so much pressure in the paintball gun locked in these hoses, it'll take forever to escape. So that's why you wanna pull the trigger as you're firing. When you pull the trigger as you're firing, it takes the pressure off the valve. It, it, it adds longevity to the pin valve on your tank and saves your O-rings.